Reshers, refreshes. Reshers, reshes. It's, it's the equivalent to us trying to pronounce Portuguese words. It's oh, just not. It'll take. Well, more. well, I'm not going to say, try to pronounce anything in Australian. Otherwise, that would be offensive. I think. No, no. no I, we, I constantly offend Portuguese people. We're just, we're just trying to say basic words like obrigado. Obrigado. No, that's perfectly fine. Obrigado. Uh, but basically, we're on. By the way, we 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 we're, we we've started already. Australian beer you were recommending? Reshers. Reshers. Oh, well, how's it spelled? Uh, R A S H A S. Okay. Oh, Reshers. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's spelled differently. Okay. R E S C H E S. Oh, okay. Okay. Reshers. Okay. Not rashers. Like. No, no, not rash. Reshers. Reshers. for Reshers for the your your for your skin to avoid rashing. I'm sorry. This is terribly dumb wordplay. I'm sorry. No. Go on. Have fun, man. Do what you gotta do. Like. Uh, it's just the same as if it were, someone was like, a super block uh, gives you strength to... It feels like it gives you strength. <laughs> it's a very, very refreshing beer. Uh, very, very refreshing beer. Cool, awesome. I've actually, uh, as far as super block goes and sagres, because they're, they're, they're the main lagers, I would say, uh, sure. over here. Like, they've, I've kind of uh, actually don't really, they don't uh, um, really uh, sit, well, uh, sit well, agree well. Yeah, yeah, with me. Yeah. I've got something just for you. Really? Oh, what is this? Cilia. Cilia. Which is named after the hair on the inside of your stomach. Oh, because... Uh, that I am been deprived of. Oh, really? Because so, I am a celiac. I have celiac disease. Oh, so no gluten for you, then. So this is a um, this is a Czech lager. It's premium. It's handcrafted, and it's gluten-free. It's organic. Fantastic. Oh, this is the beers I'll be enjoying today, and hopefully for the rest of the tour. <laughs> hopefully, Celia sponsor uh, 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 Alex Cameron uh, for, for, yeah. for the rest of... That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of our lives. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So you guys... 360 deal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I've... I can't. I'm not. I won't shy away from any sponsorships unless they're. <sighs> guys, we have no sponsorships. <laughs> there are zero sponsorships. So it's no problems, man. No, it's exactly, easy. Exactly. Exactly. So total freedom. Absolutely. You probably get this uh, all the time now, but you have a new album coming up, uh, and uh, what can we expect? Like, I, I tried not to ask um, the same questions everyone asks, uh, but uh, this is unavoidable, I would say. Sure. So. Yeah, the new record is, is called Force to Witness, mm -hmm. and it is a uh, it's kind of a collection of stories um, that I that I wrote over the period of about three years, uh -huh. oh, and they they are based on personal experience. With, with people that I've met. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost like a dossier, like an investigation dossier with, um, with information on, on individuals of interest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, musically, it's, it's lush. Um, there's elements of country and, and highway disco. Um, Highway disco, yeah, like oh. trucker disco. <laughs> okay. Um, it's it's a it's really to me it feels really mm -hmm. quite um, quite fulfilling to, to to play perform live and the recording process was was very involved as well. So it feels lush and and powerful and driven, you know, in a good way. Uh huh. Well, would you say like uh, with uh, with uh, jumping the shark? Then it was like maybe uh, uh, f four a.m. lounge disco. 
Yeah, I think I think jumping the shark was like you just can't get the the frequency right on the radio. So there's always a bit of static in there, <laughs> but you <laughs> think you can hear a good song, but it's <laughs> in the distance. Uh -huh. This new one is a little more hi-fi. It's a little okay. more like oh, nailed it with the frequency, 101.7. Nothing but the best hits. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Good times, great classic hits. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. You're right about Jumping the Shark. It does work in a lot of environments. Oh, it, it does, it does. That's very true. In terms of music, so you you guys uh, write together. With lyrically, it's you, and uh, and musically, you both do it. Incorrect. Musically, it's Alex's barbecue. He's the primary oh. writing force there. Okay. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay. Yeah. The I don't know. Exciting thing about the new record is that uh, Roy plays a lot of saxophone on it, so it's the full combo now. You got the full duo on record. Yeah, it's a good deal. Does, so uh, that hasn't happened too often. Rock and roll uh, having saxophonists. Do you remember any others? Um, a saxophone records that I really like. Something I mean, I like Iggy, the way Iggy Pop and the Stooges use saxophone. Oh yeah, okay. I like the way they use brass, anyhow. Uh huh. Uh, great sax records with a rip and sax solo. Warren Zevon. Uh, Warren Zevon, excellent. Yeah, Excitable okay. Boy has a ripper of a sax solo in that one. You got one? Uh, I mean, Bruce Springsteen what was that record uh, with Jungle Land on it. Um, Actually, yeah. I remember watching a video of you guys buying records not too long ago okay. on YouTube. Yeah. And there was a saxophone band from Sweden, I think, from back in the 70s, right? Or was, uh, am I mistaken? Oh, yeah, there was a brass band. Or brass a brass band. A okay. horn band, yeah, okay. all okay. kinds of horns. Remember that? Yeah, it was the five, horn, uh, horn five-piece. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Were yeah. they very horny then? I am sorry. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm horny. <laughs> All the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, who, yeah with this heat, who, can, who cannot be? I'm right. super horny right now. Mm. I can't avoid it. Okay. I don't, I'm not a pest or anything, but I walk around horny. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. People I'm, should know that. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with a woman at the moment, and I'm, okay, I, I lust for her, you uh -huh. know, a lot uh -huh. when I'm in her presence. And, and when I'm away from her, I... It's hard for me sometimes. Uh -huh, I can imagine. I can mm. imagine. Uh, and uh, and uh, do, so do you need a disclaimer walking around? Like, oh, I've got one, baby. Oh. I can see it from a mile away. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fantastic. It's a look in my eye. <laughs> oh, is it? It's a, it's a shine. It's a glimmer. Uh-huh. It's okay. a sweat coming down my brow. <laughs> you know, it's the wet lips I walk around with. Uh -huh. mm. Alex is the real deal. Listen, listen, guys, this is poetry in real time, right? There you go. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, so does this happen all the time? I'm sorry to speak, to you, uh, speak uh, of you in the third person, but does this happen all the time with Alex? Like, does he go on to poetic tangents. No, oh, he's turning it on for the interview. Oh, okay. Day to day, he's actually quite a quiet young man. Oh, but, okay. mm. <laughs> this, this, uh, this, we're affecting the lighting, some, something, something that we're doing, yeah. maybe. I think it's the intensity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. There's something in the air, you're absolutely right. <laughs> There's mostly nothing in the air. <laughs> 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 Track off the of the other album was she uh, she's mine and uh, yeah. and uh, awesome track but and w w was was it really water though? Oh, I see. You're inquiring about if it was water. Yeah. Um, well, I think that would be up to the person drinking it. No. Yeah, no. And certainly the song is about wanting someone to believe that it's water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does it make it so that it isn't then? I mean, I mean that, that it is. It, uh, you, if you want to know if it's water, you got to taste it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Does it, does does, uh, does that mean that uh, if you um, sometimes if you uh, if you don't stick your hands in in, in in the fire, does that mean it doesn't burn? 
I, uh, so I apologize. I think it's a double negative. I, uh, 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 what I mean is that I'm very tired because it's the last day of the festival. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, okay. So the f do you need to put to stick your hands in the fire to know it burns? That's what I mean. Uh, you know, you figure that out as a as a young person, as a child. I've got my hand, all the skin removed from my hand as a child with an egg t an egg boiler. Jeez. Yeah. So I know that hot things are hot. But sometimes, you know, clear liquid can be other things. You know, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be water. Mm -hmm. Could be methylated spirits. Could be ouzo. Could be ouzo. Mm -hmm. Could be something that's pota uh, potato-based yeah. and possibly alcoholic and fermented oh, I see. as well. Absolutely. Right. Vodka. Yeah. Vodka. Mm. Vodka. Vodka. Uh, have you had uh, any particular types of it? Well, it's a very alcohol-driven uh, interview. But uh, um, do you have, uh, or, or whatever this is, uh, have you tried excellent vodka somewhere else? Um, yeah, I like Polish vodka very much. Polish. Yeah, I like the I like. I mean, I, there was this bar I used to go to in in Berlin, and the, the old, there's a nice lady there, and she would have all kinds of different flavored vodkas that she made herself in a bathtub. Mm -hmm. um, she had a really nice. Um, I guess it was a walnut. It was a nut flavored vodka, which was really mm -hmm. sweet and really good. Um, I, I like I like Polish vodka because. Um, they know how to do it. They know that you should be eating when you drink it, so the flavors have to be, have to sort of be that, that kind of have that aromatic nature to them. Uh -huh. it, mm. it is an experience, isn't it? Like having Polish or Russian food with with vodka all yeah, of a sudden, and the, so, suddenly it's really good. Yeah, yeah. the herring, the, the herring, exactly. yeah, 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 beautiful. And and, uh, and uh, uh, steak tartare as well. Oh yeah, yeah steak yeah. tartare with the with the raw egg on top of it. Mix it around. Eat some fries. Uh huh. Put some of the put some of the sauce on there. That's uh, delicious. And flavored vodka as well. Like there's plenty. Well, that's a delicious, that's, delicious treat. It is. It is. Mm. It is. It's very different from Portuguese food, actually. So one of the tracks on the new record is Stud Muffin 96. Is this a screen handle for the internet? Because it does definitely sounds like one. Um, it's a it's about an interact. It's about that song is is sort of yeah. A lot of the songs when when they when they love songs or the songs of yearning on the album, they are they do tend to be steeped in. Um, with with internet lingo, okay. or filled with internet lingo, but that's right. more because we live in that age. You uh -huh. know? Okay. I mean, it's just like saying I'm going to call you up on the telephone in a love song, uh -huh. except uh -huh. now we're talking about the internet. So I, I think they're just they're love songs, they're songs of of, of uh, longing, but they're they're a little more contemporary, I uh -huh. suppose. Not so romantic in the sense that they're a little bit. Um, they, they, they speak about technology in that sense. Uh -huh. So okay, so Stud Muffin '96 is it? So there's no no need to stay away from this person then. No, 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 because because sometimes you would, no, yeah, no, like, they, Stud Muffin, call, um, like uh, like a Playboy X Bunny '69 or something. Okay, yeah, exactly right. But Stud Muffin '96 is a really nice person, actually. Oh, right. fantastic, yeah. fantastic guys. Like, don't don't suspect like even weird, like not weird. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, but uh, but uh, Stud Muffin '96, like that's a name you should and stay away from there no, you go. You stay away. in that song you should stay away from the person who oh. is singing the song okay but not Stud Muffin 96 is a nice person okay I haven't heard it yet so I don't know yeah innocent person <laughs> uh -huh, okay, okay fantastic <laughs> This is for a show called Made of Things, and it's based on the idea that you dedicate yourselves to art, and in your case, uh, music and poetry, and and and, and uh, uh, because something happened to you, or you read something, or watched something, or listened to something mm -hmm. that made you go, oh, oh I really want to do that mm -hmm. uh, for as long as possible. Did you have that, and what was it? Because some people do, some people don't. Yeah, um, I suppose uh, my my mother was very uh, encouraging of me to be writing, th recording things and writing mm -hmm. things down. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'd probably say that she was, uh, as a child, was very influential on me. Um, was it like with the Frank Zappa's kids? Was it like, oh, oh you're angry, so uh, don't complain, go write. Go, go go draw or something. Yeah, I guess it was a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, stop playing with yourself. Go on. Whoa. Ooh. That guy 
is still gone. <laughs> you said gone, and the, this the, it just <laughs> the word gone just just. Uh, <laughs> there again. We're back. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something fun with editing with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's that's the power of that's. You know who runs the world? Mums. Mums. <laughs> do you ever want to say anything? Uh, about my mother, yeah. Uh, I love her very much, and she's been very supportive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah. did you have? Did your mother? Was was your mother the the, the click factor for for you do, dedicating yourself to music? Uh, dedicating myself to music. Well, I mean, yeah. Back in the day, um, it was it was her who pushed me to play the saxophone. I remember uh, I uh, she'd get the family friends around, and I'd. I'd stand there in the in the like the dining room, and uh, and I'd play the saxophone, and she'd I could I'd get it, she'd cry every time. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that I'm in my late twenties, I've come to understand that tendency to cry. Wow! So yeah. wow! <laughs> so so yeah. so so it's uh, crying uh, along with the instrument. So it's, it was uh, it was the emotion, you know. She okay. was capable of feeling emotion, and she encouraged me to play saxophone a lot. Wow. I'm very glad that uh, that she did that because I was only eight years old. And, if I had my say in it, I probably wouldn't have done it at the time. Uh huh. Okay. So, so uh, uh, did you have any other instruments in, in uh, you were looking uh, uh, into? No, I probably would have just gone, gone and played with my friends rather than playing sax. Uh huh. Okay. Well, what, what about you, Alex? Was what's your main instrument of choice? Um, I, I'm pretty. Um, I'm pretty. I'm like a level of uh, awful at, at everything. So. But I like playing, right now I like playing guitar a lot, okay. even though I'm not the most gifted of guitarists, I'm not the most practiced, but I do enjoy playing it a lot. Whatever you can take out of the instrument, dude. That's right. Where did you play in Portugal before? Uh, in Lisbon, and then we played in Porto before. Okay. Yeah. What do you remember of that? Oh, it's beautiful. I really enjoy the country. Uh, it, and right now, it's a hub of excitement because people from all over the world are flocking here to enjoy oh, the cultures. Um, it seems like maybe potentially uh, the it seems quite fresh to, to us, especially coming from Australia. So uh, it's been really it's been really sweet. I, we have a day off tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to hanging out, and getting wet. Um, as long as you uh, as long as you. Uh, have Celia, you'll stay fresh then. Oh yeah, Celia is important. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, then we're done, basically. Guys. Okay. Thanks, guys. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.